Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be doing sort of an intro video for this new beast of a 3-inch build that we have going here. I'm going to do a quick rundown of all the components, since I will not be doing a dedicated build video for this, because I'm kind of tight on time to build this guy, so let's get right into it. Alright, so first up we have the frame here, which is the Mode 2 Stiletto, and that this is a 3-inch Stretch X frame. If we measure, it's about 95 millimeters wide, about 118 millimeters long. So the bottom plate is a unibody design, all one plate here, no detachable arms, but it is three millimeter carbon and on something like this, I don't think that's gonna be an issue at all. I think this thing is going to be bulletproof and the top plate is two millimeters with some cutouts in the top. The frame has 20 by 20 uh, mounting holes. It does not, um, it only fits 20 by 20 boards like a Pico BLX, it does not fit full size 30.5 by 30.5 boards as well as it was designed for micro cameras like the Runcam Micro, it won't fit full-size cameras either. So this is a pretty purpose-built 3-inch, which I think is good. We take a quick look at the weight of this guy. Let's wait for the scale to zero out. It comes in fully built at 40.5 grams. So it's not the lightest frame. Um, I believe some other 3-inch frames have been able to get down to like 30, 35 grams. But 40 grams is definitely not bad, and it's going to be super durable. I don't think there's going to be any chances of breaking this guy. You can see there is two standoffs in the back instead of one, which I think they did to allow your antenna to run through the middle rather than having to go to the left or right of a single standoff. So that adds a little bit of weight. But it is all steel hardware, which is good because aluminum and titanium, sure they're lighter, but when you crash, you're not going to be wanting them because they're going to bend and shear off. So next, let's take a look at the motors, the powertrain of this little guy. And now these are the Diatone uh, Innovations. These are the Edge Racing 1408 4000 kV motors. And now these are made by Sunny Sky. Um, the Edge Racing is a Sunny Sky brand. Um, they make very nice quality motors. I've had some of the, uh, what were these, the 20, 2205 versions. So you can see a lot of the design carried over with the shaft and the slotted top to keep the props stable. The wires on this are definitely long enough to go to a 4-in-1 ESC if you need that. So that's nice. You don't have to extend them. And these are just super, super coggy motors. And they sound really good. And they do have, I believe it's a solid, might be steel, might be titanium shaft on the top. I'm not sure. It's not hollow, but, you know, in a motor this size, it doesn't really need to be hollow. So these should be absolute beasts of a motor for this guy. So I'm really excited to try those out. Next, for the ESCs, we have the... BL Heli 32 mini 25 amp ESCs. I'm not exactly sure of the manufacturer of these, like if a brand is, but these were sent in from underground FPV, and these things are absolutely tiny. These are smaller than some of the old 12 amp ESCs I had, and they're supposedly rated for 25 amps. And if we look at the frame, you can see, whoops, let me get it right up. They fit on the arms perfectly, no issues, just the same width as the arms, that's going to be awesome. And since these are BL32 ESCs, they have, you know, the 32-bit processor and do all that magic that the 32-bit has, that we'll get into a little bit later. They should run, I believe, D-Shot 1200, but because the flight controller is limiting them, I'll have to run them at D-Shot 300, but I'm very looking forward to these. Just so tiny for 25 amps. So next, we have the flight controller and VTX. I'm kind of pairing these together, because this is the Furious FPV Pico B. LX. Unfortunately, this is a clone I bought off Amazon. Um, they sent me a clone board, so I wouldn't recommend Amazon. I think the performance should be the same. I've used the clone before, but if you want a genuine board, um, you should buy it from Get FPV. Should be a link down below to them. It's not any more expensive, just a little bit slower shipping. But you know, it's a decent 20 by 20 F3 flight controller. Nothing super special. But here's the Furious FPV Innova VTX. But this is actually discontinued by Furious FPV. I'm not sure why. So I had to buy the Crazy Pony um, version of it, another clone off of Amazon, because you can't buy the original anymore, at least not that I could find. And this is a 25, 200 milliwatt VTX switchable. Um, you can see, and there's also a built-in Betaflight OSD on here. And this, if you take the pins, they just, um, you put it like, which way does it go? It goes this way. You can stack it with pins on top of the BO Pico BLX, and then it'll just connect up straight with pins, and then there you have a Betaflight OSD and video transmitter all ready to go. And there are no buttons on this, you have to change the channels and power everything to OSD, but that shouldn't be an issue once I get used to it. So next for the camera, I'll be using the Runcam Micro Swift. I was going to use the Foxier um, Arrow, the Micro Arrow, that has an OSD built into it, but since I'm using 
Um, this little guy that has the Betaflight OSD, that's not needed. And the Micro Arrow isn't here yet, so I actually had to take this out of my KL EX, EX90. But this is a really great cam. I've already used it, and it just the field of view is great. It's super light, and it'll fit right in the stiletto here, the 20x20 20 20 mounting. Not the 20x20, 20 20, the micro mounting here. You can see it just fits right in there, and then it'll screw in, and then you can set your angle. And it looks like it'll be very well protected inside the frame here, and it should give you great picture instead of a cheap all-in-one camera. So lastly, for the props, I'll be trying these out. These are the Racecraft, I believe they're the Q3041 QCS quad blade, the um, quad crane style prop. I've tried the tri-blades of these, the 3076, and they were pretty decent, but they really weren't my favorite props. But I've heard really good things about the quad version, the quad blade version of these, so I'm excited to check those out. And for a battery, I'll just be running a Bonka 850 mAh 75C4S. Um, it's probably better to run a 600 milliamp hour to get a lighter weight off of it But these are the only batteries I have so I'm gonna run with it. All right, there we go That was just a quick overview of all the parts that are going into this 3 inch build And I'll be, be comparing it to my other 3 inch build This is the little hyper baby and if you look at the frame you probably won't be able to see it But if we line them up pretty much motor to motor, it's pretty much the exact same size as the stiletto here The stiletto is just a tiny bit more stretched by a few millimeters but I'm really looking forward to this. And with these 1408 4000 KV motors, these BL30, BL Heli 32 ESCs, Runcam Micro, this should just be an insane build. And I'm looking extremely looking forward to it. Also, a huge shout out to Mode 2 for sending out the stiletto frame here for testing and to Underground FPV for supplying the props, motors, and ESCs. There will be links down below to all these products if you wish to check them out. So that was the end of the video. Stay tuned for flight footage on this guy coming soon. Please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.